Hey guys, Screw Blind Away by Merrick. Rick, I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Naruto. Last time, Naruto has told Konkuro that he will go and save his brother. Well, I guess Konkuro asked me, he didn't really tell him. First, yeah. I thought you were talking about the show. Naruto has told us. Oh, well, yes, it did tell us last time. The Sakura knows how to heal shit. She can heal shit, hopefully. Hopefully, she it all works suck out. Suck the shit right out of him. Suck out the venom. Yeah. Like, but like a ninja. How ninjas suck it's out It's actually venom. more of like a siphon. Apparently, they suck out venom like that. Yeah. Magic. You're like, right. With water and minerals in it. Solution. Yeah. Mineral water is the solution. The solution to your problem. Solution to my problem is that Guy Sensei and his team are on their way. That's the solution. <laughs> that's, just, that's the solution. Gara, okay. Gara is also getting sucked. He's getting sucked. That was a cool little after, after credit scene because it's a effectively a flashback, but recontextualizes sure. the narration of one of my favorite characters. I loved it. Yeah. You yeah. know what made it hit more? Yeah. And this if, like be... it showed Choji and Choji had been dead, and you'd be like, oh. You know, the sad times. Then would have really hit. I mean, definitely would crying, have. But I'm glad that Choji tears, gets to live sad, and actually have a life. Crying, and I'm not obsessed just, with trying to like oh, adhere man. to story tropes when I want to be able to have a good time and right watch these magic ninjas. Because of how much I would have cared. You don't care about Choji at all not anymore. That's we dumb. got to see <laughs> oh, Obito. Obito, yeah. Which <laughs> normally you wouldn't know who that is. This would be the first time seeing him, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had would have seen a picture before, why wouldn't we? I can't remember. I don't know if we would have seen. I, him. I don't think sure. so. But yeah, maybe we. Uh, we. I think we heard of him in Naruto at yeah, the, the we, memorial. Place, we heard a right? name. Okay, I mean, we heard I the think, name. Yeah, and just that the majority of this is stuff that we've already seen. So it, it's interesting if it's also also new in animation. I don't know. Have we seen a young Brock Lee? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we saw episode Brock Lee. Brock Lee, like yeah, like episode one hundred or something like that. In the it? mullet. Yeah, yeah. We seen him like that. It was before he came to Guy Sensei when he yeah. was injured. There were like flashbacks. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we need more flashbacks so you can remember. <laughs> I can't believe you guys didn't remember that it was Mike guy. No, no. no I, 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 after when, yeah. when we saw him, like, oh no, they did say this one time. I just, I think I love Rock Lee so much. I automatically go Guy Sensei, Guy Sensei. That's who he is. Like I forgot Christian Bale was in Thor like four times. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Mike guy. Yeah. yeah. A great name. A great man. And a great opponent. Kissimmee from the Akatsuki, who apparently has the most chakra of any of them. Yeah. I, I like that that's a cool attribute to have, but doesn't necessarily make him the most powerful. Sure. You know? He's just a... He could be a brute. I mean, he could be anything. Sure. I can't wait to see, but he gets to go up against Mike Guy, and I get to see a fight with him, like a real one. What if he just fights the dog and the other guys leave? I will also like that, but I'd no. rather Mike Guy do something. I was thinking about that with, like, uh, Itachi. Is yeah. like, well, what if like the grandma just fights him, sure. or something like that, yeah. and everyone else moves on, and we well, actually fight. At the very least, the Akoski yeah. pointed out no one but Mike Guy. So I mean, he's definitely a target. Like sure. the kids are kind of the kids there. are like, mm. yeah. <clears throat> I, at least that's what they think. The Neji are, is a G- Gina, G- um, Joni, Joni. Yeah, true. G- Gina. Okay. So like he's getting up there too, but yeah. not as much experience. Yeah. And he almost died. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's better or worse. Like, I don't know if that's like a... I mean, it depends if he's a Saiyan or not, right? Yeah, Saiyan kind of thing or what. <laughs> so, Chiyo, uh, or Grandma, gave us a lot of information about the uh, the the spirits, right? The tails. She did. The tails, the, the tailed beasts. I'm trying to meld it with what we knew before. Yeah. Because I don't understand. So, did the monk have this beast in him? And so the monk with the beast got yeah. put into Gara? I think the Jin Jiriki... It, what, or what you call Jinchuriki? They are the containers for the beast, not the beast themselves. Sure. So Why I think called, that monk had this demon. Right? Why is it called the Jinchuriki host then? I don't know. So, it, well, it's you know what? Honestly, right? it might just be a dub error. Maybe. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. it, it, like that kind of stuff happens. Uh, but I mean, that's what this kind of made it sound like to me. Well, like we had a problem hmm. fighting off the Jinchuriki, and the tail beast didn't come out when Gara fought. That was just Gara. Like he wasn't using its like abilities. He didn't bring it out. It didn't well, come out in the fight. It, the Jin Jerky is Gar. It definitely came out because he yeah. was like not conscious and in control. He was just like the pimple, right? Yeah, sure, he was on its forehead. But I think that they were implying that like Gara was giving him problems, not the tailed beast. 
Because oh. they're talking about in, how they underestimated something. Obviously, they're not underestimating the power of the thing they're yes. going for. It, they underestimated the hosts. Yeah, okay. I think that's what. Why, that's why that's the Jing Cherokee. Not necessarily the beast of the Jin Cherokee. It's like a horcrux isn't Voldemort's soul. It's the thing the soul was in. Right. That was given power by a murder. Yeah, but you wouldn't say horcrux container. No, I just yeah, I know. But I also would you say a horcrux? I also would have soul? to Calvin. I also have to translate it from Japanese too. You know. I know. So. I, I I'm saying it might be not wise for us to assume that the show is wrong and that we're correct. <laughs> I don't think the show's wrong. <laughs> I think that it matches up with the stuff that we've heard before, too. I think we were just assuming that that meant beast when it could just mean the container the beast is in. Because the beasts are the... Like, it already has a name. It is the Shukaku. You know? Yeah. Like, the one-tailed beast. I don't know if Shukaku uh, describes only the one-tailed beast uh, or something else about that, that evil spirit. Because it's like... Like, the nine-tailed fox, do we know its name? It's just been called the nine-tailed fox, Just the right? nine-tailed fox, yeah. But it probably has a name. Like Foxy like, What does it call Patrick? itself? Yeah. yeah. They said that their concentrated chakra. chakra. I, just, I wonder their origin. Like, do they come about through... Are they divine? Like, like are they divine? Are they a consequence, a consequence of, of war being raged with chakra? Are they... Like uh, this, like thing that was originally created for like mutually assured destruction because force each, of nature. Yeah, I don't know. Are they a storm or are they a weapon? Mm-hmm. You know. Sure. Hmm. And are they all? Because they said like the nine-tailed fox is a avatar of destruction or something like that. Yeah. In the very beginning, so like, are they all destructive or some of them constructive? Yeah. And nurturing. Do you think that one through nine? Is a power ranking? Do you think Naruto's beast is the most powerful? Because did they choose to tails? start with Gara because that's number one? Maybe I don't know. And they're going to go going to go to other lands. There's a lot of possibilities. Try to. Capture. I mean, we saw the Zen's. Nine-Tailed Fox beat one, mm. right? Kinda, yeah. Sure. But is that a rock paper scissors thing, or is that just a mm. this is just strictly more powerful? Yeah. Like yeah, Z know. isn't like the strongest letter. It's just no. last. Well, uh, he used the least his, often, right? His, his <laughs> probably has. He has the most amount of chakra, but I doubt he's the strongest Akatsuki. I can't say Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Um, like Naruto has always had the most chakra, yeah. but he's not the most powerful person no. in Leaf Village. Yeah. Sakura well, has the least amount of chakra, but she can use it the know? most efficiently. He, he's, he's got a lot of ego and doesn't quite plan things out too well. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's a child. So if the beasts are just concentrated <laughs> chakra that manifests as evil spirits or whatever is what they built over the course of three years like just a effectively a giant battery a bank a, ba- a bank can you do that to anything or can you only do it to a gin Cherokee that has a beast inside of them you yeah know, I, you know it, I don't it, know it doesn't seem like they're taking it to put into one of them yeah so like are they just going to drain that chakra yeah I mean Maybe. they're able to you know do these abilities outside of the confines of their body Maybe they're making some type of giant battery that mm-hmm. it doesn't matter how much chakra you have. They have this huge... An unlimited Yeah, like natural limit. gas pocket or something. I don't know. Maybe Could they're just be. farmers. <laughs> they're a group of farmers trying to do their best <laughs> for winter. Huh. It's either that or there's this jutsu maybe that they want to do that they need yeah. a crazy amount of power. A huge more. amount, yeah. I wonder what the jutsu is that they want to use against a guy. Right? Isn't that what they were talking about too? Yeah. It was like we, need we can use, use that jutsu. We we'll use that jutsu. Yeah. And since you have the most chakra, you can use that jutsu. I trust Guy. To I just wonder what that is. At him. You think? I think I, he's. I, I don't. I'm not saying that he's not going to get beat. I'm be saying beat. I can't wait for him to show why he is Kakashi's rival. Like Guy and Kakashi are always one win apart. Yeah. And Itachi wrecked Kakashi. That's true. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that he's going to come out here on top. I'm saying I can't wait to watch him try. Sure. I just really want to see... And he's got people to protect. Naruto My and try. Lee come in to save Gara because yeah. they both have this history with Gara yeah. between, like, uh, the the Bone Dancer guy. Yeah. I can't think what his name was. But there was there was that one in Naruto where Lee was saved by Gara, yeah. And I feel like that gives 
Lee more of a I need to help save yeah, Gara because agreed. of that. And then Naruto also has a similar relation with Gara with like their experiences and but stuff then too. Also, so like I want to see both them come together me too. to fight to save Gara. But we also have this wrench thrown in <laughs> like standing in Naruto's way is Itachi now, who he has a history with. I love the line delivery of the lady that plays Naruto, like, I know you. Like, oh, fuck yeah. Let's get some drama in here, baby. And then Sakura learning, like, Sakura, who's obsessed with Sasuke, learning that's the guy that made him that way, you know? It's also very different from Guy, yeah. who's like, who are you? Yeah. You know? Like, he doesn't like, yeah. know about Guy. He doesn't know about them. Like, like, that automatically makes me think, like, okay, he's a threat. Despite them uh, handling that threat or not, I can't wait to watch the risk assessment. It's, it's like Guy didn't care enough to remember him. Yeah. So it's like, who are you? Yeah. It's like, oh, all right. I remember. Meanwhile, Naruto's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, him. I have thought about him yeah. ever since, yada, yada. Like, you think know? about it. I can remember everybody I've ever kicked. <laughs> you know? I, I, I know who they are. Well, you got two. My guy, I, he did. I, I for kick everybody. You know? <laughs> I'm always doing kicking. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious yeah. to see how that plays out. I want to see how, like, Tintin and Sakura do as well. Yeah, of course. Because Naruto has never really done great with, like, the female fighters and yeah. really showing them as, like, just being really mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Tsunade was one of the, the most ones we saw back when she was fighting, like, yeah. fighting Rochimaru and yeah. Kabuto and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I, I just want to see them, like, do really well. Like, even the... I feel like even, like, the, what, Sakura and Ino fight could have been a little better maybe, too. It just... I don't know if some of those showcased... The girls as being as strong as like Gara versus Rock Lee. You know? I feel like yeah. it featured I didn't, their. I didn't hate that fight. No, their like rivalry sure. more than it did their their fighting skill. I like some of the stuff that they did with. Why can't I remember? Uh, Hinata. I always think that's wrong because yeah. that's Hinata. the name of the character yeah. in Haikyuu. Her. Yeah. Yeah, but I just like when you think about the the fights that they had back during the exams, exams and stuff like. I feel like Gara and Rock Lee was so crazy. Oh, yeah. And e- even watching Naruto have to fight, um, dang, I can, I was Kiba. confused him and the dog. I, I'm like, which one was it? He farted at him. Yeah, like even <laughs> that one there, like, it had some memorable things, but some of it was really good, some of it was like, okay and yeah. stuff, but. Well, that's the thing too, the, the, the Rock Lee and Gara fight, you could tell that the animation was there before they even started to fight. Like, I, I remember that feeling of like, oh my God, they had this animation just for talking. Their their fight's gonna be the best, and that proved to be true. Sure, just because they put the budget into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Choji fight you just turned into a big ball. Yeah. Yeah. but I also I was, thought, I was okay with that. I felt the exact same way with Naruto versus Sasuke. Like they sure. just they went crazy with the animation. Yeah. I'm hoping that Shippuden is a vehicle in which they can say, "Hey, people responded to this type of fighting. Let's try to make that happen more often." Sure, you know, because that was one of the, at least in my opinion, one of the strengths of Dragon Ball Z over Dragon Ball, right? Is that they were able to focus on something that people really responded to in a different way. Yeah, like hopefully we never get another sword dance. Sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anime is like cartoon soap opera. So everything is soap opera. No, anime is a cartoon soap the opera. The CW versus a soap opera. Yeah, just, that's, that's DC soap opera. MCU is a soap opera. Not in the same way. You're just... You're really shitty I'm about re- soap operas. I'm just real. No, I'm watch soap operas. I'm just thinking about it right now. I'm like, yeah. no. There's like, there's been lots of episodes where it's yeah. like all about fighting and stuff, and there's the drama and stuff, and then there's some ridiculous, just silly things that sure. only work in soap operas. Dude, in Days of Our Lives, one of the ladies was possessed by Satan. So the same thing. It's, it's just another spirit. That's another Shikaku. <laughs> you know. <laughs> sure. They had to go get like a magical emerald to get it to get it out of her. I don't Mar- remember. Marlena. Yeah. Oh yeah. Holy shit! It was. Mm-hmm. I told you, I used to watch them. My mom watched soap operas all the time. Yeah. That, Days of Our Lives, she watched it a good bit, but then she also watched General Hospital. General Hospital. I remember that. But there's always, like, there's the guy who dies, but then he didn't die, yep. but then he came back, but he had to get face surgery because they needed a new actor because he couldn't be the old guy they yeah. had anymore. And like, they're like, what the hell is going on? And has a twin on? brother, and the twin brother has the only one that survives. So then you get the actor, but you have a new character, and then that one is in love with this guy. You know, sure. And this is that, but, you know, for... Younger Japanese boys and their ninja wizards. <laughs> you know? Who cares? This holds your attention more than yeah. like the soap but opera. But just like a soap opera, there are people that love it, and sure. I want to experience them enjoying something. Which oh, no. is why it's something like Naruto, I knew I was going to enjoy, but I feed off of people's, you know. <clears throat> it's uh, got to be hard to make a show that goes on as long as it does like that mm-hmm. and has like all these characters oh yeah and, like that it's gotta be it can't be easy to do yeah you know I mean, most shows that's the reason on. daytime Emmys is a thing yeah like how many <laughs> you know <laughs> like, how many years have most of these soap operas been going on for like almost as long as I've been alive I think for a lot of them yeah decades yeah like some have died out 
But some of it just kept going. Mm-hmm. There's one that was about vampires. As the world turns. My favorite gag in uh, Friends is Joey in that show. He's, he's an actor on a soap opera. And he gives an interview where he says, oh, yeah, you know, I make up most of my lines. And he was just lying, but he was trying to make himself self, self-important. And there's a shot that goes to a writer. You never see his face. He's like, makes up his lines. We'll see about that. And there's like a blue screen, like he's writing a script, and then it cuts to Joey's like, I fall down an elevator shaft! <laughs> his character dies. It's my, one of my favorite gags in the whole show. I just love this petty power that that writer has because he's been on that show for 50 years, probably, yeah. you know? Don't they like bring him back and they change his face and there's a new actor now? It's, or uh, yeah, yeah. They, he gets to like a brain transplant. So, uh, like Susan Sarandon, who's like an actor on that show, her character gets killed off, but her brain is put into Joey's character. So he now has to act like her. <laughs> it's so, it's so dumb. Stupid. But it's a soap opera and it's fun, you uh. know? And it's a job for him. Uh. I, I don't want people to get me wrong. I'm not saying like I'm not saying that it's like a soap opera in a disparaging way. No. I'm not no. saying in a long form, character driven, maybe not the biggest budget every episode for animation sure you gotta make you gotta milk some drama and i want to latch on to that drama and enjoy that yeah milk. and then sometimes it's sweeps <laughs> week and you go all out yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah sweeps week it's a great way to say it sometimes you bring on christopher sean yeah. the action oh yes <laughs> skyrockets yes. um uh chiho is bringing two special scrolls you're thinking that they're just the puppets because we've seen like they That's can, my guess. They can I mean, store she stuff i mean them stored in a puppet, puppet room, room yeah you know like Puppet's not a bad idea. We know she has a history with Sasori and stuff, so... Yeah, I think like, it's the off switch. I imagine yeah. that, um... Is the other only one switch? Like, puppet making is a thing that's been passed down mm. in their family, right? Yeah. Because even uh, Konkuro uses it. <clears throat> though he's not in their family. I think not. He was just a... He was just like an apprentice to... Yeah, he was an apprentice. Or something, yeah. right? Like, he yeah. learned it from... Gara's brother, sure. but... Because Gara isn't related to them. She is Sasura's Sasori. Sa- Sasori's grandmother. Yes. Yeah. And then the dude is her brother. It's just that yeah. like the three siblings look so much different from one another. They do. <laughs> but you know, we don't know. The Kazakage may have got around. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe he has a harem. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it for uh, this episode of Naruto. I once again, I must. This is a wooden table, and I have to knock on it. I just thought that this stuff was going to take longer. But I'm excited yeah. because it seems to be happening. Like We got two pretty high-profile fights that I've been looking forward to for a while. One that features my guy, and one that's Itachi versus Team Kakashi. Yeah. My grandma. grandma. Thank you, grandma. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this reaction to Naruto. We will return next week with more, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the fun, action, crazy stuff that's coming. But you can also see it right now over at patreon.com slash blindway where we have early access up to four weeks over there yep. and full-length uh, reactions as well if you need a little bit more. Yeah. yeah.